What is going on, my people? Hope you guys are having a good night. Um, so today, I think I'm going to do a beer review on what might be the best tasting beer I have ever had. Um, can't buy it a lot. If I was able to, I would drink this beer constantly. Um, but it's hard to find way overpriced and every time I I don't go to bars I've only probably been to like five in my life my whole entire life um, like five times but um, there's one place over here and literally like the minute that they start um, selling the beer to people within an hour and a half usually they're they're out so this beer every time it's somewhere it gets bought out um, way overpriced when I bought it. So for a six pack, I paid twenty two dollars. But I knew that it was going to be the only time um, I'm going to have this beer, probably for like another year. Just really rare to find. Um, if you guys know of a place, definitely let me know. But yeah, this beer has a lot of hype. A lot of people say that they think it's one of the best beers, and I I agree. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I have. Zombie dust. Good old zombie dust. And I only have one left. I got it a couple days ago. But the guy at the store was really cool. And he was like, listen, man, this is the only one left. We've been selling it like crazy. Uh, we just got it today. And it's going to be sold out. And he was like, if, if you want this, I'll keep this in the back unless you want to look for something else. I was like, absolutely. Thanks, man. Like, I really appreciate it. And he was like, by the way, it's really expensive. And he said it's overpriced. So he was like, I don't know. If you want to I'm like absolutely though I was like you know what one time deal whatever so we got zombie dust um, three Floyds I think everybody who likes craft beer knows about three Floyds um Indy Munster I believe Indiana I know it's Indiana yeah Munster Indiana um not too far from here probably like an hour hour and a half maybe um not far from Chicago at all so that ain't bad um but other way guys Let's get right into it because I'm really excited. And to all my uh, people who watch my beer reviews, I have been really sick. Um, if you don't watch my spiritual videos, go on there and see why I've been gone. I don't want to get into a big rant. Basically, they thought I had colitis. I was in the hospital. I was admitted. Um, I'm tired of talking about it, so just don't want to get into it. But I've been extremely sick. But I'm back, and I'm better than ever. So just want to apologize because I know that many of you are probably like, I'm going to unsubscribe, you know, what the hell is going on with this kid? Like, it's been way too long. So just put it out there. But, oh my God, I had this a couple days ago. Oh, so good. Such a good beer. Such a good beer. And I really like the smell of it. Like, I actually want to find out everything they used to make this beer because if I, I well, I'm probably gonna make beer one day just to try it um I know you can get those like home brewing kits which are probably you know awful my brother did it once and said it was awful but um anyways I want to figure out what they put in this beer because this beer is unique and special and it's really light for me it's like six percent six point two percent um, but it doesn't taste like that it tastes stronger than that and that's what I really like about this beer it's a, a pale ale that comes off, or is it an IPA? I think it's a pale ale. Yeah, it's a pale ale, but it comes off as an IPA for sure, um, just by the taste. So really quick, I think this might be unfiltered as well. Look at that. Yeah. Let's get closer up. Could You can't even see that movement. Yeah, I think this would be unfiltered, guys. Awesome. That's great. Ooh, piney, pine, pine out the ass completely. That's the first thing you're going to smell. Extreme amount of pine in this. Whew. They really, they really outdid themselves. And I'm not a Three Floyds, uh, Three Floyds fan. I'm going to be honest. So this is probably my favorite beer from them. I know a lot of people like Gumball Head, but for me, it's just, it's too light. I don't. I have to drink a ton of it. Mmm. Pine. Lemon. A little bit of a, a citrus, just normal, you know, general citrus. 
a little bit of um some tropical notes. I'm getting more of a more of a mango. I was gonna say mango ness, that's not even a word, I don't think. Um more of a mango though over a pineapple. I was gonna say pineapple, but I, I get more of that mango y citrusy. And very, very hoppy. Um, I got to admit, I'm someone where because I do the reviews, you know, I always smell the beer first. I do all this. It's just a routine. That beer smells amazing. And if beer smells how this beer smells, you know it's going to be good. So I can already tell you guys, um, not trying to be biased, this is going to get a really good review. Because this is like one of the most, you know, demanded beers um in the area. I mean, you can't get this anywhere, you know. The fact that I, I found it, I'm I'm grateful, you know. It's awesome. So that's what I get from it. I don't get a maltiness at all. No malt. Um let's see. I wonder if I get a little bit of grapefruit. Not not much. No, not really. But I'm getting a ton um just a ton of bitter um, pine, basically. And that's, oh, to me, I love that. It makes a fantastic beer, um, absolutely. Really good impressions. So, salute, guys. Um, let's see how this is. I didn't want it to leave my mouth. Oh, oh, that is so good. Man, that is so good. I was reading uh, not too long ago about how the Egyptians, and this, I know this is random, but the Egyptians were the ones who started with beer. Um, they're the ones who started making beer. And, man, love to go back and give them one of these and be like, yo, taste this shit. Oh my god, so good. But their beer was like one one percent at the most, so a little different. Just a little random note. I thought that was interesting. I was like, hmm. I mean, I know it could originate somewhere else, but from what I read, it said it was Egypt. Um, so that's something to to look into. Very very cool information. But oh my god, that taste just. Oh. I could gulp this whole thing down right now, but it's my last one, so. Want to savor it, but oh my god, is this good? I'm getting a honey too. I'm getting a sweet honey, you know. Um, I never used to like honey when I was little because I don't count it. It's weird to me, it's not really sweet, it has that bittersweet, you know, flavor to it. Like when you get that bittersweet chocolate, where it's not really the sweetness, but it's that strong taste. Um, and I get that from the honey from this beer. Not necessarily the sweet, sugary part, but that, um, I don't know if you'd say bitter, just that, that raw honey taste, you know. Very, very good. I really like that. So within this beer, from the taste, I keep looking at the camera, um, Wow, just incredible amount of pininess, freshness. I wonder I wonder if they put Oh, they did. Okay. Check this out. So today is November 6th, and this was bottled on October 18, 2017. So man, this beer item number 1542. So oh my god, this is just amazing. And let me read this to you cuz I didn't even know they had this. This intensely hopped and gushing undead pale ale will be one's only respite after the zombie apocalypse. Created with our marvelous friends in the comic industry, art by Tom, okay, Tim Seeley. So that didn't really, okay, that wasn't a description that much. I really like this though. I think that's pretty cool. I don't keep the bottles because if I did, I'd have to wash them because I don't want them to smell. But um, I'm someone where I keep all of the packs, you know, so when you get like a six pack, you know, and you take all the bottles out, you usually just throw away the pack, you know, I always keep those. And I took a picture years ago 
Um, and again, that was years ago. I remember I laid all of them out and I had like 40 or 50 different kinds. Now, I don't even know. I have this huge box that I fill them, that I filled with, uh, with those, <laughs> excuse me. And if you lift the box, it's heavy because of how many are in there. In the box is a Lagunitas box, um, that I asked to take from a store. And the guy was like, yeah, I don't care. You know, I don't give a shit. Go for it. So. That was really cool. That was nice of them. So I got all my beer things in a beer uh, box, like a beer crate. So that's kind of dope. I may pull it out, but you know what? You know what? That just gave me a really good idea for a video. Um, I think one day I should come on here, do a review, or just you know drink a beer because it's beer reviews. And I should go through, and I mean, not like show you guys all of them, but maybe go through and pick like a top 10, kind of like a, a review of all the beers I've had, like a top 10, um, ooh, innovation, see? See, doing this review got me there, so thank you guys. Um, thank you for driving me to, to get this video out, so now I have something else to do, so thank you. That's awesome. Um, anyways, let's get on with this review. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Number one is the pine. Absolutely. One of the piniest beers I've had in a long time. So, to me, it's very strong. The bitterness is there. And for a beer that's 6% or 6.2, I don't even know if it says... They never do. That's the thing. I, that's the only thing I don't like about Three Floyds. They never put the percentage on here. And like I know not everyone's about the percent, but I I am. And I know there are there's hundreds and thousands of other people who are too. Um. But anyways, for six percent, this is very bitter. Like I said, this may be one of the only beers I've had where it's a six, but it drinks like a seven or like a seven and a half percent. I mean, if you just took a sip of this beer and you had no idea, you wouldn't think it was a light beer. You'd think, okay, this is definitely a, an IPA for sure. And if you've never had craft beer before, you'd probably think this is extremely strong. I mean, it's light, but it's really good, you know? Like, it it presents itself um, in a very bold, bold way. It's a very bold beer. But anyways, guys, you're going to um, you're gonna get the bitterness. You're going to get a lot of that piney sappiness to it. I get a, I get like a honey, a sweet, smooth, golden honey like flavor going on. I didn't have an aroma of it, but taste absolutely. Like the Honey Weiss beer from uh, Lagenhugel, how they have that. It's kind of like that taste, you know. Um, definitely some like orange and lemon in it. A little bit of the mango, but not as much in the taste. Um, in the taste, you get more of that orange citrus peel with a little bit of lemon. The hops, I can't distinguish. I'm going to be honest right now. I can't distinguish which hops are in this beer. I can look it up, but it doesn't really matter. You know, It's not going to change how the beer goes down. Very, very good, though. Very hoppy. Um, for a 6%, you, know, you would think it would be a lot weaker. And I reviewed... I'm trying to remember the name of it. It was that Lagunitas Unfiltered. I did, I did a review um, like a week or two ago. What was that called? And and it was a pale ale, but you know it kind of drank um, like an IPA. This is a lot weaker in percentage, and this drinks stronger than that beer. So it was like hop fresh something something like that. I don't know. I'm not gonna take time and look it up. But this drinks stronger than it, and this beer is so much better. Honestly, amazing beer. Um. I'm trying to think if there's anything else about this beer. It's extremely smooth, which is very nice, but you can drink these really fast. Yeah, you could smell like the IBUs, like the, the hoppy bitterness, you know, like the dry finish almost. You can smell that from this beer, which I really like. It's really good. Compliments it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the strongest thing is the honey right now. That's what I'm getting. Just a super light honey. It's 
really all, you know, super light honey um, flavor. So, to review this beer, to score it, man, I want to give this a 9. I really do, but, like, I don't want to be biased, so... Sorry about that. Um, I'm trying to think. I just noticed, by the way, guys, I learned today from my channeling videos. At 15 minutes, my screen goes off. So every 15 minutes, I got to I gotta remember that, you know. Like, okay, it's 14 and a half. Got to get ready. Excuse me. So, man, I really want to give it a 9. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to give this a 9, guys. This is definitely one of the best beers I've ever had. The only thing I would change is I would I would make it about 7.5%, something like that. Because there are people like me who are like that. And it's like, oh, I don't want to drink all this much. You know, I don't want to drink too much. But, man, this is so good, man. So good. Absolutely just mind-blowing beer. No wonder this beer is hard to get, you know. Um, and I see, I could see a lot of people who dislike craft beer um, enjoying it. Like if I was like, here, you want to have a beer to somebody, and they had no idea what it was, and I just gave it to them. Um, and I'm not trying to be bogus, but I know a lot of girls don't like craft beer. Like I can see girls liking this. I can see everybody liking this beer. It just has something for everybody, you know. It, it has the IPA-ness to it, you know, like IPA-ness to be like that kind of beer. But it's really light, so people who don't like um, those kind of beers would probably enjoy it. And then if you, you know, if you like the extreme bitterness like I do, then you're going to like this beer for sure. And it tastes stronger, so there you go. So I'm going to give it a 9, guys. To review this beer and sum it up, we have Zombie Dust from Three Floyds from Munster, Indiana. Within this beer, you're going to get honey, pine, a little bit of hops, bitterness, a little bit of an orange and lemon uh, citrus to it. And in the taste, it's going to be extremely smooth. And you're really going to be able to tell that smooth honeyness to it. Um, even though this is really light, this is absolutely one of the best beers I have ever tried. And that's the bottom line, for sure. So please go get this beer, guys. Um, I definitely highly recommend it. Amazing. Um, and there's really not much else to say. So thank you guys for watching. I am back. So I'm going to be doing more reviews. I'm going to be doing more videos. I'm not in the hospital anymore. So, oh yeah, I made a, a video of being in the hospital. That's right. Um, and I got to admit, I think I was on morphine at the time or Dilaudid. That's what they gave me. So I was kind of out of it. So I apologize if that's just a weird, you know, video of in the hospital. So yeah shit happens but i'm back doing doing good so thank you guys have a good night um i need some likes so for the first time in like half a year give it a like i'm never gonna ask you to subscribe even though i have before like once but nah i'm not gonna do that so if you like it you like it if you if you want to subscribe you're going to nothing i say is gonna change that so thank you guys have a good night love y'all take care uh be safe and many more to come. So, all right, that's it.